Well, the day has finally come. The donor's gonna give up her engine. It's a little bittersweet, hate to see it go, but uh, uh, it's all progress, so here we go. Let's get it done. Okay, so we got the engine out of the patient Cherokee, and then this is going to be our donor Cherokee. We're going to take this motor out of here and the transmission too, and bring it over to this guy. All right, we did it. The motor is officially out. Um, major step forward so gonna kind of do a few small things to it and then start getting ready to put it back in I, I don't know if i'll be able to put it all back in in one piece or if i'm gonna have to take that transfer case out um it wasn't easy getting it out with the transfer case out on it but it wasn't terrible either it wasn't as bad as i thought it might be here it is give you a little bit closer look at it laying on the ground for now so now the next step would be bringing her back into this one. <clears throat> it's break time, so I'm gonna get a drink, take a little break, and kind of figure out the next steps. Okay, so uh, got it on the ground here. I'm just gonna change out some plugs. I bought a new coil pack for it too, since I have it all apart. It's easy to get to everything now. Um, I was having some oil leaking from the valve cover, so I put replaced the gasket on that. Um, not much more than that. Let me get those put back together, then uh, the next thing is to bring it over to the new Jeep and, and get it stuck in there. So. Okay, so got it in. Uh, this is... Uh, finished it up last night. Had a little trouble with the motor mount on the passenger side. Uh, it just was fighting me a little bit lining up, so it took way longer than it should have, but um, eventually got it. So, uh, got pretty lucky, didn't have to remove the transfer case or nothing, got it all in there. Um, especially being alone, I didn't, I didn't know how that would go. So, if you're wondering if it can be done, it can be done. Um, and this is day three for me, messing with this project, but... Honestly, if you worked on it start to finish, you know, the start of your day to the end of your day, you could probably do it in two days max. Um, and if you had a friend, probably less than that. So I've just been trying to work on this when I have some free time and, and can get out here and poke away at it. So it's definitely now to a point where I um, just need to run some wiring, you know, route things, try to remember how things were routed, where things were plugged in at, how some of the different lines came through there. And uh, hopefully, if I have enough time today, try to get it to a point where I can try to fire it up. So let's get to work. All right, so I've got to start uh, getting it all back together. Hooked up the muffler, um, got the, the um, linkage for the transmission in. And now I'm going to start going through the top of the motor, which basically, uh, to start that off, I'm just going to kind of try to lay things where it looks like it might naturally want to just fall into place at. Okay, progress report for tonight. We were doing good, making some serious progress, and then we ran into a major hiccup. Uh, kept wondering why these wires were here for the O2 sensors. There's a third one back here. So that wiring harness is original, original to the gray Jeep. Um, and this is the motor that came out of the gray Jeep over here. So if you look, here's one O2 sensor, the other, and then they have the third one down here. And the fourth one over here behind all this junk. This is all stuff that came out of the white Jeep. The motor came out of the gray Jeep. So it has four O2 sensors and all the wiring and the harness there. <clears throat> well, the motor that you see sitting here, which came out of the white Jeep, the catalytic converter is... Probably a foot or two back there down the tailpipe. 
and it has one O2 sensor in front and one O2 sensor on the rear of it. So you only need two plugs. But I think what my plan will be, I can just pull this harness off right here and it has everything I need for the O2 sensors and everything else. Hopefully resolve my problem and finally get this thing started and on the road. And so this is going to go into day four now. What am I going to say? Four days for this job. Good thing I'm not getting paid for it because I'd be starving to death. Okay, starting off another day. Uh, I did a little searching on the internet and I want to show you what I found. Here's again, this is the motor that was out of the gray Jeep originally. Have the O2 sensors, catalytic converters right there, and then two more O2 sensors below that. Well, what I found out is that is considered the California emissions. Um, whereas, well, this is the exhaust out of the white Jeep. I, I put in the gray Jeep. So let me get down here. You can see the catalytic converter. Here's the rear O2 sensor and then the other one's up towards the front a little more on the uh, closer to the exhaust manifold. So that's the store standard EPA mission um, setup, I guess is what they're calling it. Well, the, um, maybe that explains it a little better. Uh, one's a California emission system, one is a standard EPA emission system. Uh, I don't know the history on this Jeep. The guy that I bought it from was in Northwest Indiana. He said he bought it from a guy in Northwest Indiana. Uh, it'd be interesting to look at the Carfax report to see if it originally was a California Jeep. Um, so maybe I'll do that at some point. Uh, one thing uh, that I didn't mention, maybe didn't make sense in that is, so the exhaust, when I took it off the white Jeep, it all came off in one big piece, nice and easy. Uh, when I took everything off of the gray Jeep, I had to cut it um, in the pieces to be able to get it off because things are rusted and stuff like that. Uh, the shop inspector is getting into something over there. I just want to make sure she's all right. So, so anyways, I had to cut it to get it off uh, there. And so it was just easier to take this full piece, put it in, not knowing what I was going to get into when I did that. So that's why that exhaust is on the gray jeep now basically everything off the white jeep is in the gray jeep and take the wiring harness off the white jeep put it on the gray jeep and uh, hopefully it'll just plug in start up and go on down the road but hopefully today is the day we get to start it up so the good news is everything i need is in this harness here and kind of floats around the front or goes into this which comes right out, has a few connections back there, and then goes towards the rear underneath. So it should be a fairly simple um, piece to get out of there. And yeah, luckily it's not this big, thick, thick one here that I'd have to take off. So I'm gonna get working on that and uh, get back with you in a second here. Oh, and then this one here is already basically taken apart. So it should just come right out. Okay, got the new old wiring harness off of the white Jeep. Now let's fish this in where it needs to go and hopefully get back on track. Here's where we are. We got the motor in, wiring done, uh, the cross members in, um, mufflers all mounted up, good to go. I think we just close in this front here and uh, we, we should be good to go. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Okay, got everything back together. Um, wired up, fluids. Um, there's only one thing left to do. I'm going to do it right now, hit the key, so let's see what happens.
Okay, so I just found a problem with the fuel sending unit and the connection on that. Um, so now it's the moment of truth. Just took it down the block and back. Um, seems to be doing good. Still got to work out a few little minor things right now and then uh, we can venture out and see how she does down the road. But overall, uh, I'm calling it a win. Starts, runs, drives, backs up, goes forward, backwards, all that stuff. So um, I'm getting pretty excited. Finally making some progress on this thing. And um, you know, now the real work starts getting it cleaned up and things like that. So. Been a couple weeks now since uh, we got the motor in this one and got it running. I uh, actually drove it down to North Carolina for Thanksgiving and had no problems at all, ran great. Um, so I'm excited to have the Cher a, a Cherokee again, uh, especially this one seems really clean. I'm going to do some more work on the interior, taking things off of the white one, uh, some of the good pieces and things like that, <clears throat> and then also get the lift kit off of the white one and put it on here. And then finally lay the, the white one to rest. Um, so yeah, so let me know what you think about all that. But uh, I do have one other thing going on that just kind of came up unexpected. So um, for a future project, we had the motor that was originally in this one. Didn't, uh, I've never heard it run. Supposedly it ran fine, no problems at all, right? So that's the one that is sitting on the ground, has the two catalytic converters, all that whole jazz, right? So now, to let you in on a top secret project, uh, bad thing about Facebook Marketplace is there's always stuff on there. Well, I was on Facebook Marketplace just kind of poking around and found another Cherokee that needs a motor. Uh, it's got a rod knocking in it, it's pretty bad. Uh, this one's a little more weathered and rust and stuff like that. But overall, it's not too terrible where it can't be salvaged and, uh, and become a decent Cherokee again. Uh, so <clears throat> my plan is to do another motor swap. Take this motor here off this, the one that we took out of the gray one, and put it in the green one. And then uh, who knows what will happen with it after that, but um, at least get it running good again. So uh, stay tuned for that and uh, do another motor swap with us. Subscribe, like comment, hit the bell so you can be notified when we upload videos, whether it's Cherokee or, or some of the other things we got going on back there. My poor CJ, that was supposed to be the winter project and it just keeps getting pushed back aside. Once again, it's uh, kind of like the redheaded stepchild just being ignored um, because other things keep coming up. So that's, that's kind of how it's lived its whole life as the redheaded stepchild of, of uh, we'll get to it later kind of thing. But anyways, uh, hit like, hit subscribe, let me know what you think of the gray one and uh, how it's looking and how it's running and what you think of the overall project. Actually, let me know what you think about the video too because I was curious like, do you want to see like a video where it shows every bolt you take off or kind of like the time lapse or how I did it this time. Um, so anyways, thanks again for everybody who has subscribed. Thanks again for everybody who watches, comments and all that stuff. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Boom!